T Top Matrav. Offset then did it again. Offset has a, a history of not being faithful to Cardi. Cardi was on live pouring her heart out. Y'all could really hear the pain in her voice. You know what I mean? What's going on y'all? It's Ailtrap and I'm back, 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 back. I'm back again. And today we have chicken salad chicks. I think of it. Can remember. Um, so we have a couple different flavors or whatever that we're going to test out, review, whoop de woo And then we're going to get into some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and say grace. Father God, I come to you today to ask you to watch over this food. Please have your nourishment to my body. Please have not digest this food properly. You're going to my very minimum. I'm done. Amen. How y'all doing? So let me tell y'all the flavors that we have. Um, I'm going to pull up the description too. Because I forgot. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so this one. Well, let's go ahead and take the lids off. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so we'll start. Well, no, we'll start with this one because I have it pulled up. So, what is this? This is the kicking, kicking Kalen. Oh, let me get out. This one has buffalo sauce, ranch, bacon, cheddar cheese, jalapenos, and la sriracha. Um, this one is, well, I mean, this one's kind of self-explanatory. But then we have the barbecue, y'all. And now this one, This one is lemon basil chicken salad. Oh, it says pecans in here. I didn't read that part. I wouldn't have got this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know, pecans in my thing. Maybe they chopped up finely enough to where I don't taste them. Can we try to get a, give it a look? Look, stand, y'all. Y'all know how I do. Oh, we probably don't need it. We probably don't need to stand for the big one. Okay, maybe that'll work. It's cutting off our our crackers and you know, you know we're trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look cute, y'all. That we just go, yeah, we just gonna love remix it like that. Yeah, okay. All right, so. Let's start with this one. The um the kicking Kaylin. Oh, that's good. Hold on. That one is really good. The way the the ranch, the buffalo, even the sriracha, the way it all blends well together, it's like nothing overpowers the other one. I like that. That's good. I'm not gonna break about that. Yeah, I like this one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. Mm 
can't go wrong with barbecue. And if you do go wrong with barbecue, shut your whole restaurant down because that shouldn't be a thing. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to get to the lemon basil. It kind of stink a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It's real good, though. That's good. It tastes better than the smell. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, they have a lot of different flavors. Um, these were just the ones that stood out to me the most. But of course, they got like the regular, traditional. They do have a buffalo. They have one that's like they call it the onion lover's delight or well, that's how they describe it but chicken salad is enough for me i'm not trying to walk around with chicken salad and onion bro <laughs> now let's go ahead and remix these take a little barbecue take a little lemon basil let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and get this focus first. There we go. We're going to combine those two. Y'all know I get happy when the food be good. <laughs> My dude got hit a lot. And the worst thing that can happen is you get some food and it's nasty. Like, that should be a crime. That'd be a crime. That lemon basil and barbecue together, deadly combo. Lemon basil and barbecue mix. Deadly combo in a good way. I really like that. I really like that. But I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoy the fact that I'm trying new stuff, you know. I don't wanna have to, you know, keep doing the same thing on the channel, so I'll be looking for new restaurants. And right, we found them. Tea time to try. Did I do a thumbnail? I hope like how I did. I'm really up with it. So. I don't understand what's up with these men forgetting that they got a home, that they got a wife and kids at home, but Offset then did it again. We don't know exactly what, but we do know Offset has a, a history of not being faithful to Cardi. And just the other day, Cardi was on live pouring her heart out about how he's been doing her so wrong and that they're not together and stuff like that. And personally, I felt bad. I really did. Because you could just. Like y'all could really hear the pain in her voice. You know what I mean? Mm.
I just, I don't be getting straight men sometimes. I don't. These women go through so much. Like, although Cardi's career has been flourishing, a part of me feel as though she could probably be further without that husband. But she's been so loyal that she don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? So it's like, and she put her body through hell twice, twice to have his kids. And you can't even treat your wife with the respect that she wants. And if you can't, I, that's what I don't be getting about people. If you are not happy in your marriage, leave. Leave. Why do y'all have to go out and sleep around and cheat and creep and... I don't get that. I will never get that. I don't. And I won't. Yes, I have cheated in the past. You know, I told y'all that. I won't deny that. I did it. But I was also young. Like, young. Last time I cheated, early 20s. I, I don't know. I do not know. And not to say that these women are perfect, except Beyonce, but we keep we keep seeing these women that we look at as <coughs> as strong, confident, can't nobody break them down type of women. And then we later find out that the very person that is supposed to be holding them down is the one that's hurting them most. Tiana Taylor, recently. Cardi. But, I mean, we knew that for years, but we did think that he got better, or we at least hoped that he got better, but it don't seem like that's the case. It seemed like he, he's still on the same type of time. And realistically... I'm going to just call it a spade a spade. I think Offset benefited more from being with Cardi than Cardi benefited from being with him. She's the prize. When it comes to this business, she is the prize. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Offset is just this horrible artist or anything like that because he's not actually really enjoyed this album. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. But if we speaking from an industry standpoint, Cardi is in higher demand than Offset. And there was a thread on Twitter where some people were saying that they feel it because during her rant, she was just saying, you know, all the stuff that I've done for you, I missed out on the things like that. A lot of people were saying that they feel like her her album might have been pushed back in order to not basically in order to let Offset shine. In order to let Offset shine. Because she dropped several singles. That. Came across as if they were going to be. A lead single off her next album. WAP. Up. But then. They miraculously. Just served as buzz singles. And that's also during the time that the Migos was going through what they were going through as far as breaking up and Offset trying to get out of this deal and be able to release music and yada, yada, yada. And there's no telling how much money alone that Cardi probably invested into that. Because if we look at that household, no, I can't say I'm 100% sure, but... I'm more sure that she's the breadwinner than I am sure that he is. I can imagine. 
I really couldn't. Expect, and then when you have kids on top of that. And then, speaking of kids, we're going to go ahead and put this down. Speaking of kids. Nicki Minaj and Akbar. I don't even know why I'm wasting my breath, but might as well. During the time that Cardi was going on her, you know, when she was venting, Nikki posts a meme, or it's a photo, but used as a meme, of Michael Jackson kind of hanging out the car, and it looks as though he's like laughing or something to that nature. And anybody with a brain knew that that was to shade Cardi, because Offset, he idolizes Michael Jackson. So the irony of she post of her posting a Michael Jackson meme while this girl is crying her heart out on Instagram, it was just like you in your forties and you're unprovokingly trolling this girl over something that you've experienced before. That was pretty weird to me, but then again, look who we're talking about. And I was happy that Cardi responded, honestly. Cardi responded and told her to leave her the F alone and go take her husband to a park. Because she can't. Because, you know, y'all know what he registered as. I ain't even got to say it. Hang on to a park. He can go to the Baron Seeds Conference. You know? So before you try to poke jokes, at somebody else's marriage, make sure you're squeaky clean. And I wouldn't dare be married and be invested in somebody else's marriage like that. I also wouldn't dare be invested in somebody else's marriage and try to throw shade on their marriage in the middle of me celebrating my new album release. That, that, that has to be the miserable is miserable. <laughs> like, you know, you got every reason to celebrate right now. Your fans like the album. People that's not your fans don't really like it, but your fans like it, and that should be who it's for. Be happy. Why are you engaging in this? Like, for what? For what? It's, it's childish. It's, it's really childish. And then you have Akbar, who... Worship the ground that Nikki walk on. She would lick the bottom of her shoe. She would do whatever. You know how y'all parents be like, if your friend jump off a bridge, are you gonna jump too? Yeah, that's Akbar when it come to Nikki. So she decided she wanna put her two cents in. And she wanna leave comments, make videos, and it's just like, ma'am, more you went through something similar. With somebody who wasn't even your husband. I start there. So making fun of her for going through something that you went through. When that man is her husband. The father of her two kids. Not the baby daddy. The father of her two kids. It's pretty weird. But that right there is another reason why Akbar's career is at a standstill. Well, I don't even think it's at a standstill because it didn't go nowhere for it to be standing. It's. Where is that? We can't even enjoy Akbar. I'm assuming she got music. We can't enjoy whatever Scar herself putting out or doing because every time your name is in the head in the headlines, it's drama, and it's somebody else's drama that you inserted yourself in. It's got to be weird. But what did Cardi say? Still in the bed, a living ahead, water and gas included. Because that's weird. It's really weird. Right? Them people are obsessed with her. But enough about them two. I really want Cardi to leave that man. I really do. It seemed like Offset got some growing to do. 
It, it comes across as if he's a good dad. I haven't heard anybody say anything about him being a bad father. None of his baby mamas, honestly. So he do right by the kids. But in order to fully do right by the kids, you have to do right by their mother. That don't mean you have to be with them. But you can't treat them like shit. This calls base baby. You can't treat them like shit. And that's what that's clearly what he's doing. She needs to leave him. She needs to leave him. I don't know if they need to be divorced. Because technically we don't know exactly what's going on. But. I can at least be separated for some time. As y'all know. Absence make the heart grow fonder. Sometimes people need to see what they're missing out on after it's gone for them to fully appreciate what they have. That might be it. But then again, the way that Offset was moving while they were together, it's like he probably going to move even even worse. But these damn crackers are cheap. But um. That might also be a good thing. That might also be a good thing. He might need to show his, his ass while they're separated. Because what that will do is then wake Cardi up completely and solidify the fact that she does not need to go back to that man. Sorry to the kids. Sorry to the kids. But at some point, people got to look out for themselves. And not look out for the kids. I know this sounds selfish, but if you understand what I mean, you understand what I mean. If you don't understand what I mean, I don't really know how to explain to you. But yes, you have to live for your kids, but you you don't have to stay in a broken household just for the sake of your kids. Because at the end of the day, what you are doing is hurting yourself even more and more and more and more. And that is eventually going to hurt your kids in the long run. Especially when you're a mother. And you have a son because you gonna look at your son in the face and you're going to always think about stuff that 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 um, your child's dad did to them. And that is worse. That is worse. Trust me. I know that is worse. Because you're gonna, you're not gonna do it intentionally, but subconsciously, you're gonna have ill will towards that child because you're gonna see so, like you're gonna see their dad in them, whether it's looks, personality, character traits, what have you. You're going to see their dad in them, and you're gonna have some type of feeling that's not a good feeling towards your child and they'll never know or understand why and you wouldn't know or understand why until you know you go to therapy and then they'll tell you flat out but it's unfair to the kids and it's, yes it's unfair to the kids to grow up in a a divided household But I think it's more unfair to the kids to live in a toxic household. They're going to see that. They're going to experience that. They are then going to live that. It's a never in a cycle. They're going to live the way that they lived when they were children. Because in, in their head, not that they think it's okay. But in their head, they're going to say it happens. It happened to my parents. It's not right, but it's life. And that's not the case. That is not the case. A household don't have to be toxic. That is not cute. It's not funny. It's not like some people think that they almost curse. Some people think that stuff is cute. Oh, yeah, we're a little toxic to each other. You know, he slammed me down on the bed. You know, I might slap him a little bit. No, no. 
That's not cute. That's not okay. Now, if y'all having a little rough sex, that's a different story. But the constant yelling, the constant bickering, the constant fighting, that's going to wear off on those children. They might feel a type of way towards their, their mother because of what they heard their dad say. They might feel a type of way towards their dad because they heard what their mom said. A little girl's gonna grow up thinking, okay, well, if my boyfriend cheat, you know, you have to be strong and stay and fight through it because that's what my mother did. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. You can. And you can work it out, but when it's when he's a serial cheater, that's when it becomes a problem. You don't stay through that. Yes, an adult can forgive you for cheating, but when you have repeated behavior, there's no, no, hell no, hell no. No, no thank you, I don't want it. But I will say before I go, Cardi next album. Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all know I say this about everybody. That heartbreak album. It'd be a mother. It'd be a mother. Marriage Bot. Beyonce with lemonade. Hell, M4, honestly. And B Day. Hell. Um, who else? I'm trying to think some more. Okay. They already know K Michelle for sure. Y'all don't get job for sure. Lauren Hill. She had a heart broken by a man that was married. And still banging her in the back of a tour bus. You know? And look what that album put out. I hope she fuel all that. Put that all together. And let that out on each track. That make me very, very happy. Turn them lemons into lemonade. And call it a day. So if he ain't do nothing, nothing right by you, he at least gave you those beautiful children and he put some more money in your pocket because he gave you something to talk about and you turned that pain into a money game. Anyway, I'm about to go ahead and sign out. <coughs> These were good, y'all, but <coughs> it ain't something I can just eat a whole bowl of in one sitting. I mean, it's chicken salad, you know what I mean? Like, it's chicken salad. But it was a nice smoke bond to do. It is good, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's nasty, I said it's good. It's definitely good. It's just I can't eat a lot of chicken salad at once. I don't even know why I thought it was a good idea, because it wasn't. It's was good though. So yeah, we finna sign out. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're still waiting on. I don't know how many videos you watch and subscribe yet, but if you haven't, that bell is right there. And the, the subscribe button, they both, they go hand in hand. You press the subscribe button first, then you press that bell, and it's going to let you know every time I drop a video. But if not, if you want to connect with it, I'll try to outside of YouTube. Go into that description box right down there. Scroll to the bottom of that box, not the bottom of the page, the bottom of that box. Boom. There you are going to see my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Threads. TikTok. Add me, follow me, leave me comment, it's gonna leave me soon, leave me do whatever. Let me know what's done, what's one, what's done, 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 what's done,